Like Super Baseball and Super Masters before it, Sega's Super Real Basketball makes its way across the pond complete with a sports celebrity on the cover. Joining Arnold Palmer and Tommy Lasorda as Genesis representatives was one Pat Riley, then a six-time NBA champion, once as an LA Lakers player in 1972, once as an assistant coach for the Lakers in 1980, then four times as their head coach in 82, 85, 87, and 88. In fact, during Riley's run as the Lakers head coach, his team only failed to make the NBA Finals twice. Outside of the title screen, Pat Riley basketball went through pretty much zero change when it was brought to the Western market. As the game doesn't feature an NBA or Players Association license, options are restricted to fictional players and generic teams based on American cities. Los Angeles, Detroit, Dallas, Denver, Boston, Seattle, Houston, and New York. There are two gameplay options, single games or tournament play, and the player is able to adjust team strategies between quarters or after calling a timeout. Playing old sports games is usually pretty painful, and while Pat Riley basketball doesn't really hold up all that well against more modern basketball games, I will say that this is probably my favorite Mega Drive sports game so far. The on-court action is pretty basic, no real controls other than shooting and passing, and taking the ball away from your opponent seems like random chance. But the arcade-style close-ups during the various dunks, layups, free throws, and tip-off look really good and make the game feel so much more dynamic than, say, World Cup soccer or Tommy Lasorda baseball. It's also important to note that with the release of Pat Riley Basketball in the U.S., the Genesis had respectable video game versions of two of America's top sports within its first year on the market. One of the oddities of sports video games is the idea of the cover curse. This is most prominent when talking about Madden Football's shift to showing players on its covers, though you can find examples of it across other sports game franchises as well. I bring this up because there was a bit of this sort of thing happening with Sega sports games as well, and it seems like Pat Riley may have been the first example. Although the decade leading up to the release of his new game saw Riley enjoy huge success as a coach, 1990 was also the year he stepped down as the coach of the LA Lakers amid rumors of anger issues and player mistreatment. He then took a year off from coaching before taking over the New York Knicks in 1991. I guess it all worked out for him in the end though. Riley is currently the team president of the Miami Heat, who won him his 7th and 8th NBA titles, the most recent coming in 2012. He's the only man in the NBA who has won titles as a player, a coach, and a member of the team executive. Not too shabby. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.